Guys, not everyone has the budget to afford a camera, a laptop, or the best editing software for their YouTube channel. And that is just me, guys. Seriously, I'm a jobless student, and that's why I want to share with you guys how I come up with video ideas, script, record, and publish everything for my YouTube channel just on my iPhone. My name is Tristan, and I post videos about beauty pigeons, entertainment, and myself. If you're interested in that, please consider subscribing to the channel and checking out my other videos. So guys, if you're just starting, the first thing is coming up with video ideas and I recommend that you do this on the notepad app on your phone or a book, for example, just write the ideas immediately as they come and one idea too can lead to another. For example, while doing this video, for example, I just noticed that I can also do a video on how to make a YouTube thumbnail. So if you really have a channel with some videos, you can check other videos that your audience are watching and to do this, you can just open the YouTube studio and you just scroll down to the audience section and then you check other videos and channels that your audience are watching. From there, you see other videos videos that your fans are also watching and you can also come up with videos just like that or videos similar to that. And another thing too is that you can also check those creators that your audience also follows, see what they post, try to make content similar to that also and then you can also use the training section on YouTube just to see what's trending, you can make a video like that also. So guys, once you have the idea, the next thing is to script your videos and some people like me for example, I like to write everything down in detail because I'm not really good at talking from my head so that's why I just write everything down in details and I say exactly how I've written down. But others for example they'll just write down the key points and then while talking they'll elaborate on those points more so it just depends on you to so figure out which one works well for you and guys sometimes you can also search about that topic on google or online just to make sure that you have a lot of material that is relevant about what you're talking about next phase now is recording the video and to do this you can use natural light and a tripod stand but i have a tripod for example so as you can see from this illustration i have some books here and i put my phone on top of the books and it's very easy for me and i recommend that you clean your lenses with like a cloth before starting because it just makes the image to be way more clearer because when dust comes on it it's very very blur and it's not good it's stressful when you talk for about 30 minutes just to realize that nothing was actually recording and so i advise that before recording you make sure you have enough space in your your phone and then you can set your phone to do not disturb because my phone for example if a call comes in the recording is going to stop and then another way is that you can use a mirror in front of your phone just to see what you are doing at the same time and then you can also use the let's view app you put it on your phone and your computer it just helps you to know what's happening in your phone for example guys i'm recording here but i'm seeing everything in my computer just to make sure that the video is still recording after recording you have to edit the video to so make sure that you have relevant facts and the video is smooth so there are many editing apps out there but I use a CapCut app on my phone. It's so free, easy to use, a lot of filters, a lot of advanced features, and all of these features are free as compared to other apps whereby you pay a lot. So guys, when that's done, you have to make a thumbnail for your video, and I recommend you use a custom thumbnail. So what I do is that I use the PixArt and the Eraser app on my phone. I use the Eraser app to move the background from my photo, for example, and then I use the PixArt to add text, other images, just to make the thumbnail look more better. And guys, if you want a video about this in detail on how to create a YouTube thumbnail, how I create my YouTube thumbnails, let me know in the comments below. So guys, when it comes to publishing, I'll advise that you use the YouTube Studio website because it has a lot of advanced features and you can customize your video way, way more as compared to if you're just uploading with your phone. For the YouTube Studio app, before uploading, make sure that it goes to settings and go to upload quality and make sure that it's set to full quality. Just make sure that your video is very, very clear once it uploads. So guys, when uploading, now you have to give your video a title and a description. So guys, in your description section, you talk about your video and then you talk about the footage in the video. For example, you say, this footage is not mine, original owner is from this person because you just want to make sure that you're like, you're not stealing someone's detail because you have to give credit to people if it's not your footage because it can cause problems later on in the future. Then guys, can add other links to your profile and your business that people can check up on you and follow you and then you want to include hashtags because hashtags are important because that's what makes some people to discover my videos and I really recommend you to do that. Then guys, you just follow the steps and choose what corresponds to your video. It's very easy to understand. When it comes to visibility guys, I usually schedule my videos to when most of my viewers are active because that way when my video is published and most of my viewers are online, I just click on it immediately and so it tells YouTube that the video is good. So guys, once the video is published, you have to share it to Facebook, Instagram, etc. if you want to but it's good because that way more people see your video and it gives the video a push. You want to also leave a pin comment asking them to give their opinion and subscribe to the channel for more videos like that and then guys, always reply to your comments seriously because I 
I, for example, I love it when creators reply to my comments and ask when I subscribe to them. If I have a question and I ask them, they're going to respond. I don't really like when creators don't respond to their comments. But guys, at some point, the comments are going to be too much that I cannot respond to all, but at least it's always advisable to respond to your subscribers. So guys, that's it guys. I know that the video is not really that so detailed, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Please follow my social platforms. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.